Hi, I'm Mike Sokol from RV Electricity. I'm going to show you a very important demonstration that uh, details why three light testers and also the same testing function that they do in most all of the surge protectors, including EMS protectors, really don't know exactly what's coming in from campground voltage. So this is something I call a reflected hot skin voltage, where you can have a campground that has a disconnected ground wire back at the service panel, but that group of RVs are actually connected together. So this is just a standard little three light tester, but it basically is doing the same functionality as most every surge protector EMS that I've seen on the market. I'm gonna plug it in over here and I'm gonna just turn on 120 volts to it. Now you can see I have two amber lights, no red light. I've installed a little variac on here, which allows me to put from zero to 120 volts on the ground of this outlet. So kids, don't try this at home. Right now, I've got zero volts on here. Let's go ahead and set that up. And everything looks okay because two ambers, no red, looks like correct polarity, good ground and everything. And it is right now. But if something happens on the campground and they've lost their ground wire connection back to the service panel through that daisy chain group, once you get up above 40 volts or so, look what happens. This thing is now telling us that we have an open ground. We do not have an open ground, and I'll prove it. I'm just using a non-contact voltage tester. It is showing we have 40 some volts on the ground. If you were to plug into this with your 30 or 50 amp RV, right? What you would end up with is enough chassis voltage. Your chassis in your skin could be 40 volts or more, or 50 volts, or 60 volts. And that could be enough to be really quite uh, dangerous if you're standing in wet ground. Now, here's the really dangerous thing. If that other RV has developed a dead short circuit from hot to ground that it cannot clear because the ground wire back to the main panel is broken back at the campground, you could get 120 volts on the ground. This is what I call a reflected hot skin condition. And now what you end up with is this thing is telling you that it is a reverse polarity, which is not dangerous, but this is dangerous because the ground is hot. Look at that. Do you get it? Now, if you see, if your EMS or your surge protector in the morning is telling you everything is okay, and then now an EMS would probably shut you down, but can't shut the hot ground down, unfortunately. But if your regular surge protector is now saying, okay, now I've got reverse polarity and sometimes I've got uh, okay, what likely is happening is the campground has a broken ground connection on, the, on that feed, on that group of pedestals that doesn't quite make it back to the service panel. Somebody, one of the campers out there has got a short circuit inside of their RV or a broken water heater element or whatever. It's not their fault. This should have tripped the circuit breaker, but it can't because of campground miswiring. Get it? So don't believe what these three light testers tell you. Don't believe what the little lights tell you on these uh, regular surge protectors. Um, I'm going to do a full uh, video and article on this shortly, but I think this is so very important. Um, I'm Mike Sokol from RV Electricity, and let's play safe out there.